Okay, so it's time that I address these comments. The comment saying that Henry Cavill would make a great emperor of mankind. Now, I understand. I understand why that's your first instinct, right? The greatest influence in our hobby being this legendary star, Henry Cavill himself, playing one of the most prominent characters in Warhammer 40k. I get it, I get it, I get it. A circle hits the square, I get it. But guys, here's something that we have to keep in mind. Now, I don't know, obviously, what the show is going to do. They can do whatever the fuck they want at the end of the day. But personally, this is what I think, okay? Personally, I believe that the Emperor of Mankind is a massive, massive character that you just can't throw on ep episode one, season one, Henry Cavill, let's go. You feel me? On the first day. The Emperor of Mankind is, a, like I said before, a very prominent role. It's something that you keep behind the scenes. You know it's there, but you keep behind the scenes to be revealed later on in the season. To me personally, it feels weird having the POV of the Emperor of Mankind from episode one all throughout the entire show, like right away. You know what I mean? He's a god. He has this very important thing that you're not really going to relate to. I mean, it's really hard to relate to anything in Warhammer 40k. It's a fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you're a guardsman. But you can't really just relate to a god right away and have his point of view. He's already done everything. He's this god. You know what I mean? So it would make a lot more sense if he plays as a smaller role, something uh, prominent still, but smaller than the God Emperor. So his POV can be discovering this universe around him, still have a lot of struggles, and eventually... And then eventually, the POV of uh, whoever Henry Cavill actually plays will be, uh, uh, will be exposed to the Emperor of Mankind uh, through this big revelation. So say he's he Henry Cavill plays a, a custodian. We would know that he's connected to the Emperor in some form. So we would see the Emperor of Mankind eventually. But then we would get to experience that revelation of the Emperor of Mankind finally. Like we all knew he was there. Especially if Henry Cavill was playing a custodian. Uh, 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 an entity so close to the Emperor. That, that a revelation was imminent. So that's why I feel like his character should be something smaller it should be consistent uh and i mean eventually i don't know if this is post horus heresy or pre but eventually the emperor of mankind is gonna end up in the golden throne okay are you guys saying that you want to see henry cabell as a skull face and then lose him forever to a fucking golden toilet huh is that what you want i don't want that so I can that's what I'm saying consistency okay a consistent character that we can see to the end of times hence my vote on the custodies